<laughs> so my name is Michael Frankie. Um, we've been in the cow calf business for uh, here in Cross Plains, where we're located, since uh, 2014. Uh, the ranch, part of the ranch that we're on today, has been in the family for 116 years, continuously operated by uh, by a Frankie family member. My wife and I uh, were farming and ranching in West Texas and wanted to be closer to, to Central Texas and family in the home ranch, so we decided in 2014 to sell our part of our operation out there and move down here. Uh, we focus on a commercial cow-calf operation. Uh, we are starting to develop some heifers, and then we're actually starting this year trying to transition part of our commercial herd into a registered red Angus herd. And we're not a huge operation, and so our, we've got to be focused on make, making the most and getting the most out of what we have. And land is really expensive, and so you've just got to be really efficient at what you do if you're going to make a living. We grow uh, crops that support our livestock operation. That's the farming aspect of it, and the forage is involved with that. But it's today we're 100% focused on on beef and livestock, and and, uh, and just trying to make it work here in, in the area that we're at. The real Max, how we got started with it was we actually something was posted about it on social media, and it the comment that was made intrigued me, and so we started doing some digging. I showed that to my wife, Kim, and and started looking at it. And it was different than anything we'd ever seen or used before. Uh, we've fed different sources of protein supplements in the past, uh, different forms of loose mineral, and it didn't seem to matter what we were feeding. The, the cattle, um, the more protein we'd put out, the more forage they'd want to consume. And I'll admit at the time, I didn't fully understand why that was occurring. But then after doing some research with what Real Max is, how it's designed, what it's designed for, um, it kind of triggered a light bulb on that said, hey, this is something different and it's gonna be something different than we've ever experienced before. So we decided to try it. We went into it wanting to find a product that made our operation more effective and make us better stewards of what we were given. There was a little bit of sticker shock at first uh, with, uh, with the product, but once we got it, we actually started looking at what it was doing to the cattle. The, um, the forage savings is what stands out the most to us, and that was the first thing that really caught our attention. Uh, we've been able to get 20 to 30% in savings on the hay that we've been feeding. And in fact, this year with the drought that we've had, um, we've probably fed this is the least amount of hay we fed ever since we've been in the cow-calf business. And that's pretty remarkable considering the drought that we've been in this year is probably one of the worst that we've had going back to the 50s. So that really was something that was an eye-opener for us. Uh, we did leave the bulls out in our operation year round when we first started, and we felt like we had a really good uh, handle on, on breed back but then we realized we were missing some marketing opportunities by doing that and we wanted to tighten our calving window back up. And when we went to a 60 day calving or breeding period, uh, that exposes a lot of sins when things aren't working right. And the first thing that we noticed before the real max was we just couldn't get the breed back that were going to allow us to stay, uh, stay in business and be profitable. When we switched to the real max, that breed back issue went away. Uh, we were 100% breed up on a 60 day window, which technically I guess when you visit with cow calf producers, they always say, yeah, I can get 100% breed back when they leave their bulls out year round. But we've never, even then we weren't 100%. So uh, that that was eliminated with the Rio Max. And then we noticed just the overall condition that the cattle were in. Um, it was just, they looked fantastic. Their hair was, was shiny. They, they slicked off like they were supposed to. You could go out into the pastures and they'd be laying down and they were very content. Um, they just, uh, things were more efficient. And then we noticed not only on the hay savings, um, with this drought, we rotate cattle around in smaller pastures and have started doing, the, doing that the last two to three years. But we noticed that the grass in the pastures was staying healthier, longer, uh, there was more of it there when we got done with the pasture and so the cattle just weren't consuming as much. It was very evident. Um, so we started running all the numbers on everything and when we noticed or, or looked at um, the final outcome, we were actually saving money 
using the real max, probably by 15 to 20 cents per head per day over what our old program was. And that was traditional protein tubs and, and loose minerals. So we've been able to eliminate all that um, and we just feed real max and salt and it's been a game changer for us. The first first reaction when when I was visiting with the, the lady at Real Max about it, we, we were doing this over the phone because there wasn't any dealers here close. And uh, when she told me what the price would be per ton, you know, it does kind of catch your breath. And it's a number and it's a big number. And when you look at it and you think about it, you're like, well, you know, I, I think we can do this. And so, like I said, Kim and I sat down and we talked about it and we pulled the trigger but then we wanted to get enough volume <clears throat> to make it worthwhile and to last us a while. So that cost per ton ended up multiplying several fold. And then it really kind of almost made you sick to your stomach when you get that invoice and it's, uh, it was as large as it was. But at that point we were committed. We'd made the, made the decision to do it. We were gonna do it and use it in a way that, that Rio Max recommended and then make sure we gave it the, the full benefit of the doubt. And I'm glad we did, because once we did that, like I said, we eliminated all other protein tubs and other lick tubs that we were using. We eliminated all the loose mineral. And then uh, Brad and I, our, my son, we were looking at the savings just alone on what we had in hay this year in the drought. You know, hay, in our area has been selling for 150 to almost $200 a roll. And when you can reduce the amount of feed that you feed at those prices, um, it doesn't take long to add up. Now we raise all of the feed that we use, but if I don't have to feed it, that creates, me, creates an opportunity that allows me to sell it. And so you have to look at it that way too. And by getting those savings that we did on hay, it more than paid for the tubs. I mean, it, it was it was pretty phenomenal. And so we also did the calculations looking at it on a cost per head basis uh, per day. And it was significantly less than what we fed, you know, like I said earlier, 15 to 20 cents of, uh, per head per day less than what we were doing before. So there is an upfront cost, but if you look at it, it's no different than buying uh, fertilizer to fertilize your pastures. Um, buying a truckload of, of cubes to go in an overhead bin if someone's set up that way. It's really no different than any other major purchase that you use. Once you factor it into your program and your budget and you know what kind of results you're gonna get, then it's a whole lot better to, makes it easier to sleep at night after that. We like to think that we're ranchers and we're, we're focused on beef production, but really what we're doing is we're farming grass. We're grass farmers. And so I get an opportunity um, in addition to what we do here at the farm and ranch to work with uh, guys that grow peanuts or cotton. And, and we used to farm peanuts and cotton too. And when you're row crop farming, you're not gonna be satisfied if your harvester is only pulling in 70% of the crop that you make every year. And I look at Rio Max as a tool that allows our grass harvesting machine, that cow, to get as much harvested out of that grass as what we're producing. And so if we wouldn't settle and be happy only getting 70% of our row crop in the barn at the end of the year, why are we happy only getting 50 to 60 or 70% of our forage utilization throughout the year? It's no different. You have to look at it that way and have a little bit different mindset than what maybe what we've done in the past. You know, we. We have the ability now with the land that we own and lease to probably run 200 to 250 head. Now we did pare back um, as we approached the drought, but we also had some really nice heifers that we just hated to part with because we raise Herefords and, and uh, it, it is hard at times to find good quality Hereford cattle. And we made the decision to hold on to those as well as some other replacements. And so when you look at the number of heifers that we retained, um, the number of acres that we had and that we were running everything on, when we did the math on it, we were actually able to increase um, increase the number of cattle that we were running probably by 30% uh, with the same amount of grass. And like I said, we fed less hay this year than we fed as long as we've ever been uh, been in operation doing this. So it's 
it's been pretty phenomenal what Real Max has meant for us. Like I said, people laugh and they think we're kind of um, maybe stretching it a little bit when we say it's a game changer for us, but for us and our operation, it really has been. The more time you're having to make trips out to check on the cattle or do something with the cattle, there's an expense involved with that. And probably in the times that we're in today, with everything being as high as it is, the inflation being as, hard, as large as it is, anything you can do to reduce a trip or time that you spend on that enterprise is gonna make you more money. Um, so, you know, when we put a tub out and the, the consumption is gonna be, for us and our operations, typically only been about two ounces per head per day. That tub lasts a lot longer than most people think. Uh, we do believe with this last set of calves that we weaned, um, going back and looking at some that we did a year or two before we started the Real Max, it does look like we probably picked up about 40 pounds more per head um, on those calves that we weaned using the Real Max. I know when you go out into the pasture or the, the traps where we have the calves and we're weaning, they always have their head in the, in the tubs and, and are really uh, going to town on them. Uh, but overall, the calf health has been better. I don't, I don't think we've treated near as many calves for respiratory issues uh, this year as we've done in the past. And like I said, it was really dry, uh, has been dry, so there's been a lot of dust in the air. There just hadn't been a lot of grass formed. Uh, and so typically, this is the year that she would have a lot of respiratory issues. Um, and we, we've treated very few calves uh, for those issues. So we believe it, it's making a difference. but. I'd say for us, and the one that, the one thing that that you can really get folks' attention with is just how much more and better utilization you can get out of your forage uh, with this program versus doesn't matter what you're currently doing. This is going to make you more money and make the cattle more efficient. Uh, hands down, it's the tub that pays for itself. I don't know if there's any input that we look at on the farm and the ranch when you go through all the numbers that gives you the kind of return that we get on the real max. Um, it's something that literally I can look a, a friend in the eye, somebody I just met on the street, and, and with all my heart mean that when you buy Real Max, you're going to get something that's actually going to pay for itself and put money in your pocket when it's all said and done at the end of the day.